The Constitutional Revolution is seen as a major landmark in Iranian history. There was a very sort of a monarchy at the center, but it didn't really have a state in the modern sense. It had no institutions, strong institutions from the center to the provinces. In the provinces, in fact, um, the dominant powers tended to be the various tribes, often a central tribal chief. And when they were well organized, they were actually real political and military power because often uh, tribesmen had rifles. So in some ways, actually, the tribal forces had more a far power than even the central government. So provincial governors couldn't really function unless they uh, had the support and tacit agreement of the tribal chiefs. When the constitutional revolution basically succeeded, there was great expectation, especially among reformers, that with a new constitution, it would be very easy to pass reforms, drastically change society, and leapfrog from an almost a medieval society to a modern society, catch up with the West. But what they discovered soon after the uh, this end of the Civil War was that you really can't implement reforms unless you have a state. You can pass umpteenth laws, but it's not going to have any practical effect unless you have the institutions to implement them. So the whole focus of both reformers and conservatives in the 1910s was to actually first create a state, which really means institutions, ministries.